Hey everybody, this is Avantes from the Hero Power Podcast, and today I'm joined by a very special guest. We have American Idol contestant, three-time recording artist, inspiring motivational speaker, and as I understand it, current two-time legend player, William Hung. Thank you for joining us uh, today. Three time now. So Woo! I it Congratulations. Hey, hey. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> It's always good. Now, uh, do you, are you finding it a little easier to get Legend with these new ladder changes they implemented a couple months ago? Uh, it, it it's not easy for me. <laughs> uh, I, I have I would say that I I hit Legend this especially this month. It's been crazy. There's so much uh, uh changes in the meta game. So I started like like grinding really early, and I hit legend very early with the control priest, uh, like mind blast priest. Mm -hmm. I I was like ran six hundred something, and then uh, and then the meta and then the meta game got so difficult right now. It's so hard to 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 grind, and I and I kept trying different decks, and then now I'm in the bottom feeder again for legend. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it it doesn't take hardly anything to get down there, and then it takes forever to work your way back out. I understand yeah. that completely. So, uh, again, thank you for joining us uh, today. We've uh, we're really excited to have you, and uh, we've got a we got a few questions for you. We're going to talk some Hearthstone uh, this afternoon. So, but first. You know, I was actually thinking about this the other day when they were talking about it on the uh, Oakland stream that your time on American Idol was 14 years ago. Now, I'm old. I'm, I'm like almost 40, <laughs> and that seems like yesterday to me. But, it, it, you know, they brought up that, you know, people like Amnesiac would have barely just been born or like one or two years old at that point in time. So let's kind of... You know, go ahead and kind of introduce yourself for that younger generation who may not remember you, and you know, tell us a little bit about what you've been doing since your time on American Idol. Well, uh, it all started in a college uh, talent show because I was studying for civil engineering at UC Berkeley, but I wasn't doing well in my classes. I figured something has to change. And then one night I saw a poster for a school talent show. I figured I got nothing to lose. So I sang one of my favorite songs, She Bangs by Ricky Martin. I had no expectations, but somehow I won. That's and awesome. Was, <laughs> yeah. And the grand prize was a DVD player. Okay. So that's what gave me the confidence to audition for American Idol. That's awesome. So, um, since your time on American Idol, um, you know, you've recorded three albums. Yes. And uh, you've gone on to do um, quite a bit of inspirational and motivational speaking. Now, what type of message do you usually try to leave the groups with when you go to these speaking engagements? The overall feeling I want to leave people with is that they have the power to make choices to succeed at the highest level. That's awesome. And and that translates really well into Hearthstone. Yeah, because it's a lot of decisions every single game, every single day. Yeah, yeah. So what do you do now when you're not doing uh, your motivational speaking? You know, what what what's a normal day like for you nowadays? Well, uh, I was so professional speaking is one of the things I'm pursuing. Uh, another couple of things I'm working on. I'm writing my book uh, called Champion by Choice. Uh, it'll be a while before it goes. It, it'll be ready. Like it'll be six months or tw uh, twelve months from now. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm also have a regular job at uh, the Department of Public Health in Los Angeles County. And then other than that, I I do spend time with friends and family. And Hearthstone is, you could say, my time waster. <laughs> well, that's awesome. So tell us, uh, how did you get into Hearthstone? When did you start into Hearthstone? Well, well, I played Hearthstone, I think, started like two years ago. I played for a little bit, and then I, and then I took a long break because I got uh, other priorities in my life. And then I started getting back into it into, uh, in, around May. Because like you, uh, you mentioned Amnesiac, and I'm actually inspired watching Amnesiac play at a DreamHack final 
in Austin. Mm-hmm. That was so cool. It's like, wow, maybe I could be like him, you know, someday. <laughs> it was, it, and I got my wish in a way. I mean, I didn't yeah. win it. But I got my wish and actually get it on stream and get it on podcast now. It's like, wow, <laughs> it's so fast. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, talking, let's, let's talk a little bit more about that. So, um, you, you went to your first major this past weekend, which was HCT Oakland. And yes. not only did you go, but you were the very first match on stream that day. So yeah. what did you find more nerve wracking singing in front of Simon Cowell or being live on stream for the, for your very first match in a major? Oh my God. I can't compare. <laughs> I was, it was, I would still have to say the singing in front of Simon Cowell because, uh, nothing really beats that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That the potential to be heard by millions of people being judged. Uh, yeah. But I would say that the nerve, the getting on stream, uh, I'm definitely nervous. I, I don't get me wrong. You know, it's, it's, I didn't show it, but I'm pretty sure that I'm worried about people judging me. It's like, oh my god, am I going to be like? Are they got are the casters going to say like I'm terrible in, in Hearthstone too? <laughs> <laughs> no, I watched actually watched your match in its entirety, and yeah. uh, I felt like you you played really well. There were a few few uh, I guess as Twitch chat would say misplays, but for the yeah. most part, you played really well the entire match. So congratulations on that. Thank you. Um, so, you know, we talk about, you know, how you got into it. So what's your favorite class and or your favorite deck archetype? Oh, okay. Uh, I would say, I don't know why my, my, my uh, it's hard to have a favorite right now, but I would say one of my favorites is... Uh, I like Art Hunter. I don't know why. Yeah, it's it's not it's not that good for laddering and competitive right now. But I I don't know. I like the simplicity of it. I like the the beautiful thing about counting damage and then uh, <laughs> people by ten seven. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hunt, Hunter is a blast to play. It's definitely yeah. one of my favorites too. And I'm gonna be really sad when uh, Deathstalker Rexar goes out of standard. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a really incredible card. <laughs> yeah. So, um, you know, we, we talked about you know your 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 work, your your uh, your inspirational speaking, and where in that do you find time to to prepare for things like HCT Oakland? Um, well, I I I, um, I really wanted to do well. Uh, at least I want to give my very best performance possible, even though I'm a first timer. So so uh, I I went to Singapore not not too long ago, like like the week before Oakland. I was in Singapore, so yeah, I didn't have that much time to prepare. But what I did though, I made the most of it. Uh, I was studying the lineups from HCT Italy. Oh. Uh, uh, so I, and I decided that uh, you know maybe just science uh, lineup uh, control warrior uh, priest uh, that lineup uh, even warlock maybe it's pretty good so I just see I just bring it and see how I do. Well, that's awesome. You you did you know like I said you, you did really well with it on stream when I was watching. So, um, do you primarily find that you're playing more on the mobile like your your phone or? Do you spend the majority of your time playing on your PC, or is it a combination of both? What What do you find more comfortable? I would say I like to be in front of a computer. I, I, I don't know what it is. Uh, when I have my, my uh, Hearthstone deck tracker on, mm. uh, sit down, very uh, focused, I definitely play better in front of my desktop. Uh, I also do play on the mobile, though, because... Uh, on my way to work, or when I get out of work, on my way home, I take uh, I take the bus, so I'm bored, so I need to find something to do, so I also play Hearthstone during that time. Nice. So you, you play Hearthstone on the bus. There, you know, there are a lot of uh, people that do Hearthstone on the go. Um, you know, there's a real, uh, another popular uh, podcast called Walk to Work, where he plays Hearthstone on his walk every morning. Nice. So it's, it's a great, great way to be able to... Uh, to spend your day, you know, whenever you've got five minutes, five or ten minutes of free time. Yeah. So uh, you actually kind of already 
answered my next question, but let's see if we can go a little more. You, uh, my question was, how did you decide on your lineup for HCT Oakland? And you said you were looking at Just Saying's lineup from yes. HCT Italy. What was yes. it about that lineup that kind of spoke to you? Uh, so I, I, th I th uh, my reasoning, even though it didn't work out uh, the right way, the result wasn't wasn't great. Uh, the, my reasoning was that uh, Hunter Ace and and uh, and other people from HCT Italy, I think the F Finnish players, they were doing fantastic with Art Paladin, Art Rogue, Medical Steward, and and one other deck. So I thought that that my, uh, if I were to bring like a, a Quest Warrior, uh, Mind Blast Freeze, even Warlock and Token Druid, I would have a big uh, significant advantage. Okay. All right. What about, um, so, and this was a deck that, uh, I think surprised a lot of people. Tere actually had it in his lineup going all the way and winning the, the whole thing. But what are your thoughts about Quest Rogue? Oh, uh, I actually tried the Quest Rogue. It's very hard to play. <laughs> <laughs> I, I found myself throwing away games, <laughs> uh, even though when I thought I should have won. Like I completed the quest, I got all the all the four four guys, and I still lose some some games. You know, I won, but I won some games, so I also lost some games. So it's actually hard to play. Uh, and I think I think to rate uh, was spent. I, I think like Value Town and other people mentioned, uh, he did a great job uh, figuring out that it's going because uh, Oakland would be a very heavy control line um, meta, mm -hmm. and they, they and they, he's right. The people that, that brought the, the Quest Rogue, Shadow Walk, they were right. So those are the people that did well. Yeah. Yeah, those were definitely uh, definitely good decks that uh, last weekend. Um, so did you have any practice partners leading up to uh, HCT Oakland? I know you said you were in Singapore the week before, but when you got back here, did you have anybody you were able to bounce ideas off of and uh, talk about deck matchups with? Uh, yes, I practiced with one one uh, one of my friends from Facebook. Uh, he's he's also an avid Hearthstone player. Uh, he's not he's not he's not a professional player, but I play like two matches with him uh, just to get a feel for how the conquest would go. Mm -hmm. And then uh, and then in the meantime, let let's say I'm on the plane or whatever, I actually watch entire matches. Okay, so you you studied. Uh, video, sort of like a, a quarterback would do. You know, look yeah. at look at matchups. Yes. Okay, that's that's really smart. That's really good. Um, so, give us kind of a, a feeling of what it was like being at the Oakland Esports Arena and attending your first Hearthstone major. What you know when you walked in what was it like what was it like competing throughout the day you know give us some highlights and tell us tell us about it absolutely so the first my first impression was very surreal because i saw i see the people I, uh, on stream in real real life right real life so i saw amishak i saw tere i saw who else Masi, uh, all the famous players Cydonia, just saying uh, yeah, and I even uh, met, shake, shook, shook his hand, Amnesiac, I met him in person. Oh, just yeah? to say, oh, I, I, I admire you, I really like what you play. <laughs> and, he, and yeah, so yeah, it was so much fun. I, I made a lot of friends uh, because of this. So yeah, it was definitely worth it. Uh, in terms of uh, the, the actual event, I'm not used to the long event. It's mm. a, a lot, even though it's two days, I felt really, really intense. I came back like very tired after the trip. So, yeah, it's not something I used to, uh, but it but it was great experience. Good, good, good. Um, did you have any other competitive gaming experience? Um, like, have have you played anything else competitively before? Yes, I actually used to play Pokemon trading card game when it, uh, a long time ago. Hey, uh, Pokemon I, TCG is uh, still going strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So back in high school and college, I was very into that. Uh, I, I remember that the highest finish was like a top 32 in the world championship. Oh, wow. Yeah, back that's, then. That's really awesome, yeah. So um, I guess, would you say, uh, besides Hearthstone and Pokemon, you know, are there any other games you spend your time on that you, you enjoy playing? I actually also play Magic for a little while, uh, but I, I realized I quickly that I'm not good at it. Uh, <laughs> I'm just, it's just it's so complicated. 
It's it, it it can be. Um, I actually played Magic for about twenty years and then uh, transitioned over to uh, Hearthstone when Magic is so expensive. It's yeah, just, that's it, it's yeah. so hard uh -huh. to keep up with yeah. the meta in right. Magic yeah. without you know spending bukus of dollars. So, <laughs> all right. Um, trying to think. That's you. You've actually uh, answered most of my questions, I guess. My last big question for you would be, what are your thoughts on the upcoming expansion, the Boomsday Project? Have you have you been following any of the releases? Yes, yes. I actually saw some very interesting cards. Uh, I don't know why they 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 uh, they keep making Druid more broken. Druid is all. <laughs> <laughs> are you talking about like the the Treant synergy that's coming? Yeah, the tree and synergy, the three four guy that copy that could copy mana goals. Oh, gosh, yeah. Uh, uh, biology project, it's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, it's it's gonna be pretty strong. I'm I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I really am kind of excited about that whiz bang the wonderful, the <laughs> the minion that when you add him to your deck, it randomly makes your deck one of eighteen recipe decks. That just sounds like so much fun to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm sure there are streamers that 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 wants to go for that, but but I'm all but I'm pretty sure that that it will never see competitive play. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can I can probably agree with you. It'll never see competitive play. But man, that yeah. that card sounds like so much fun. <laughs> yes, I'm very curious what those 18 decks are. <laughs> yeah, there's gonna be uh, the new recipe decks that they're coming that's yeah. coming with the. Uh, with the expansion. So I've heard there's yeah. going to be some even decks, there's going to be some odd decks, and then they're all going to be available as recipes. So, you know, they're, they're going to be updating what's in the game and we'll have a chance to see them all. So that should be interesting. Yes. So, all right. Well, uh, William, again, congratulations on competing in your first HCT major. Do you foresee yourself? Is was did you have a good time? Is this something you could definitely see yourself doing again? Yes, definitely. So for the record, uh, I finished four and four. Uh, it's it's not it's not too bad. Uh, I think one of the I think you remember you you asked me about the highlights. I think one of the matches I could have definitely played better. Uh, I lost to one of the eventual uh, semi-final, uh, Zagios, oh. yeah, okay. uh, and, and I felt that, that the first two matches he high-rolled me because, you know, the R Paladin uh, got his Divine Shield, so my health I did absolutely nothing. And then, and then the Odd Rogue, he draw two Deadly Poison, two Cold Bloods on me, right from the start. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it's insane. But the last match, I should I should have played better. I don't know what happened. I had the mind blast freeze. I thought I had that guy, uh, and then somehow he just kept playing two minions at a time, and then he keep chipping away so that I had to remove his stuff because otherwise I would die to the savage roar. Because I I thought that was one card he held in his in his hand the entire game, and I was right. <laughs> so, so he made it really hard for me to get through, and I couldn't get through. And then for some, and then somehow I I actually lost by fatigue by one turn because I finally had the board control, but I had three life, and the fatigue damage was like five. Oh <laughs> so man, that yeah. was the crazy, craziest games. But but I think that 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 uh that in terms of I think if I could have made a few uh, different decisions better. For example, like instead of like uh, mass dispel on the on the on the big white board, maybe I could have just used the psychic scream so that he draws those tenants and tokens, and then I have more time to set up my lethals, the the pains and the mind blast. So yeah, maybe I, I think I could have played that one better. But most of the matches, I think I, I feel okay. Yeah. Well, good, good, and and that's that's important. You know, and that's something people need to know is that. You know, especially when it's your first time, you know, it can be intimidating if you're not prepared, but yeah. go in there with a positive mindset that no matter what, you're going to have fun, you're going to have a good time, yes. you know, and, and just, just make the most of the experience. It sounds like you did that. And yes. when, when uh, are you thinking about participating in your next major? Have you picked one out yet? 
Uh, no, not yet. I'm gonna look it up. Uh, I I'm thinking that that uh, I really just want to do it for fun at the moment. I don't mm. see myself doing doing this like a like a professional thing. So maybe I won't go travel like halfway around the world. <laughs> well, uh, if you want to travel across the country, HCT. Um, or actually, it's DreamHack Atlanta is coming up in November, and yeah, that one I'm considering. Uh, and then I also saw like a few events uh, coming up in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. so yeah, I'll, well, I'll see what's around there. We uh, we may see you. We went to DreamHack Atlanta last year, and we're planning on going back again this year. So yes. uh, maybe we could maybe we can meet up there, and I can uh, buy you a drink or something. For <laughs> yeah, sounds fun. Yeah, sounds like. All right, awesome. Well. William, again, thank you so much for your time, and uh, I look forward to uh, hearing more about your your exploits in Hearthstone as uh, your your semi professional career moves forward. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> All right, you have a wonderful day, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye.